Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new video about Fire Emblem Warriors. Last time we finished the Invisible Ties history map and now we'll have a look at the... Uh, pa the Path is Yours ma history map. Now a few things to mention beforehand among others that when I went back to the Invisible Ties map after finishing it I realized that those new portal missions had actually appeared. They are basically additional map that are available for each of the various levels and also allow you uh, to have <coughs> access to a number of things among others missing scrolls or special weapons such as this case which give us uh, Lucina's parallel falchion scroll which allow us to upgrade her signature weapon to a more powerful version. This can be pretty helpful because signature weapon actually allows you to have two slayer skills on them without actually decreasing in power, so that's actually pretty darn powerful. You'll also get the opportunity to do a few things, such as when you get all of the various illustration scrolls, which will trigger an Anna mission, which is required to actually recruit her. You only need to finish one, so it doesn't matter which one you do. Anyhow. Fortunately, I have something to, to confess, since I had a lot of time and that my microphone wire broke, well, I actually got the opportunity to finish pretty much all except the DLC maps that got released on the 21st of December. So we'll have to make do with what we have, hopefully it won't be too easy. Still, we'll start here with the, uh, the Path is Yours map, along with the conversation history. Let's do this. Corin, quickly, come join us! Your family has come to take you home where you belong. Don't be fooled by their words. You belong with your true family in Hoshido. Come home, little prince. We can live as a family once more. Corin! Corin! I... I won't betray anyone. I'm sure a peaceful solution exists. If we could just... I've heard enough! Corin, as your older brother, it is my duty to teach you the truth. Corin is finally back with his family. I will not let you take him again! It's no use. They just won't listen to me. I'll have to step in if I want to stop them. Here we go. And we got a glimpse like we saw before about uh, male Corin. So, let's continue. Brother, did you come to fight me? No, Sakura. I came to ask you to please choose to fight alongside me. So yeah, as you'll see uh, throughout the, the map in itself, you've got a number of missions involving certain characters we met before, among others Sakura, Takumi and Hinoka for the Oshinan side, as well as Elise, Leo and Camilla on the Norian side. So you know, that's basically how this progresses. I've seen your dedication, big brother. Please, take me with you. I I'm sure I can find a way to help. It surely doesn't make much sense, though, although that's kind of the point of the, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it's the Revelation Path, which kind of combines the Conquest and uh, Birthright versions of Fire Emblem Fates, so, you know. Anyhow. From the moment we met, I suspected you couldn't be trusted. Takumi, I understand. I'm sorry. But please, I want to fight beside you. Fine. I'll fight by your side. You have my support. Corin, this is all a ruse, right? We're family. You can't turn your back on your family. You're right, Hinoka. I can't. That's why I want you to fight by my side. Kind of a broken record, isn't he? Man. Nah. <laughs> all right. I will fight alongside you. I want to stay by your side until the very end, no matter what path we choose. Okay, that is done for that one, and doing that will actually make the forts that were there beforehand disappear around Ryoma. So basically whenever all the siblings are defeated, the path to the last mission is actually opened. Next up. We'll skip Ryoma for now. Why do we have to fight each other? I'm so sorry, Elise, but I need you to come with me. I know that you didn't betray us, Corin. So I'll come with you and fight. I'm here to help you, Corin. I can't believe you're this cruel. Leo, 
I'd like you to come with me, to fight alongside me. I will fight by your side. Your heart is true. Ah, uh, Corin, this must be a misunderstanding. Why won't you come home with us? I'm sorry, Camilla, but I haven't changed. Please believe me. You're right. You're just like you used to be. You're the same kind, cute Corin. Okay, next up, Ryoma. Corin, are you sure you won't return with us to Hoshido? You risk getting yourself killed by taking this neutral position. Ryoma, I've made my choice, and I want you to fight by my side. It will take more than words for me to change sides. <laughs> Once you've made up your mind, there's no stopping you, is there? Very well. I believe in you, and I will fight in your name. Thank you, Ryoma. I will still forgive you if you repent now and return with us to Nor. I've made my decision. I want you to join me and fight by my side. I see. Then you leave me no choice but to take you back by force. So you feel this strongly. I understand now. We fight together, Corin. I'm sorry it took us this long to join you. Meh. <laughs> Fair and blimp fate's logic. Anyhow, let's move on to the ending. I can't do it alone. I'll need your help, everyone. I trust you. I trust that you'll remain true to your goal for a lasting peace. Then I propose a truce between our kingdoms. You and I are similar, Xander. For the sake of our brother. For the sake of the world, let us be allies in this. I accept your proposal, Prince Ryoma. I hope that we can achieve a peaceful world. Thank you all. It means more than I can say for everyone to trust me. Yeah, but you're kind of forgetting about the power-hungry daddy over at the Norian side. But what am I saying? Anyhow, let's have a look at some of the Xenolog parts which were, as I said, kind of useless banters, but still, let's have a look what it looks like. Hello. Ah! Oh, where did that... Oh, you aren't here to steal my treasure, are you? Uh, no. My name is Sita. Tell me, do you believe in love? Are you in love with anyone? Like a person? No. But I am madly in love with money. Deeply, madly in love. Well, as you've seen, there isn't a whole lot to see there, so, meh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I startled you, you just seemed so interesting. I wanted to try and have a chat with you. Turns out you're just who I thought. I'm glad we got to talk. Let's do it again soon. She seems nice. Definitely nicer than anyone where I'm from. Well, now that this is taken care of, what did completing this map actually give us? Well, let's have a look. If we go to the convoy and look upon Corin, we've got access to a number of costumes, among others the upgrade for her, which is the Nor Noble, which has a really unfortunate running pose, but let's put that on the side for now. Now we've got access to the Nor Prince version of it, which is male Corin, of course, but also the Oshido Noble version of the outfit. So, you know kind of interesting in on that matter although um, I've kind of heard that there were possibly ways to actually unlock a Hoshido outfit for the female version or the Nor version for the male one although I'm not too sure I think I'm just misremembering things anyhow so now that this is done where I'm actually gonna show you a map to actually showcase some of the different type of maps that we'll actually encounter for this one, despite it being rather low level, we'll be going at the In the White Light Ryoma mission to have a look at what they can do. Let's do this. Okay, 
So now this raises some interesting things, although it appears that the initial restriction was removed. Normally, this map actually only allowed you to select uh, characters from the Fades version, namely Norian ones, which made things a little difficult to actually complete the map. Yes, we'll actually try not to use characters that are level 100, that should help out some. So let's set them up, shall we? Good luck out there. We'll go with Corin. We'll have Xander on the defense as well. Where is he? There he is. What is it? We've got Camilla, which I've been training uh, <laughs> lately. Be Hopefully try to unlock uh, as much uh, different... Uh, what can I say? Type of characters as possible. I've also got Elise here, whom I've been training as well. So, yes. we'll keep Xander to protect to the me. main base. Corrin will be going over there, because I know something is gonna spawn over there. So we'll have to make okay. do with it. As for those two, they're gonna try to do whatever they can, sure which isn't much. <laughs> of course. How's this? So let's do this. Let's go. This map goes really quickly, so you actually need to know where things are gonna pop or be extremely quick. Because originally in that mission, you, had, you didn't have access to any spearmen. You notice that Corin here actually has a brave weapon equipped, which actually makes things a little easier on my part, because normally I only had silver weapons, so that makes things a tad more difficult. Still a little easy, I'm a little high level, but still. I'm up against spearmen, so they're resisting a little bit. Ow. Okay, that's taken care of. Now oh, I need Elise to deal with this guy, and kind of quickly too. <laughs> sure thing. Yes. Sander can go help out over here for the Leave time being. You really need to move, though. I guess I won. I like those profit margins. <laughs> I've got an idea. <laughs> This is mostly a variant of the fort defense mission, meaning that if those ruffians unit actually get to your base, well, they'll end up starting a counter of one minute during which you have to defeat them, otherwise you lose the mission automatically. <laughs> Here, that is done. I received a report. Isn't there another unit? Yep, there were. Robin is one of those characters that I feel because uh, he does a, she doesn't have Armored Blow or Astra is actually darn near unplayable, which is the case for many characters in this, but still. For instance, Elise I felt was darn near unplayable as well without this. Thankfully, now that I've got uh, dealt with this, she's a lot more easier, she's a lot easier to use now. There, this has been dealt with. And Xander is dealing with a, with a ruffian over here. Let's try to deal with that. I like those profit margins. Could actually hit him, that would be really helpful. Alright, let's go deal with that archer. Try to thin them out somewhat. Yes, right, we stay here for now. I can probably have at least advanced somewhat. Mission complete. I like those profit margins. At least it's mostly done. I've also managed to unlock her signature weapon, so she's actually doing pretty well. I'll take this fort. Yeah, they're all coming down the, the over to the center. That's Air annoying. You'll notice this little gauge under Elise. This is actually uh, the gauge that allows you to use our special strong one combo, which actually stuns the enemy. So this makes things a whole lot easier. Especially when you get more difficult enemies. I don't want to get too close to the Kumi though. 
Archers were so overpowered before the advent of the DLC and the Bowbreaker weapons. They had no weakness to anything, really. Except melee damage, but uh, most of them had such high resistance as hero character, then well, wasn't a whole lot you could do. that despite being so high level he actually has trouble taking him now. Ah oh, there he is. That's the things to be afraid on these maps among others the monks and more importantly the rally captain. Rally captains will make the enemy uh, characters actually darn near impossible to take down. Let's do something about this. The mission started. There. I'll take care of that. What do you need? Oh, okay. some Corrin over there. Let's actually try to do something. Because before long, Ryoma is gonna head straight for our base. Actually, he already is. Oops. <laughs> Now we just have to watch that base and have Corrin and Camilla deal with the rest. First thing first, in order to protect the base, we actually need to uh, deal with that Dragon Vein fairly darn quickly as it's powering up Ryoma right now. That will make him take over the base fairly darn quickly. There we go. What do you need? Okay. We'll deal with that base over there. We'll see where Canola is. Oh, she's over there fighting Hinoka and that monk. Oh, we can be having that. Camilla <coughs> is another one of those characters that can do without armor, blow, or astro. She's rather playable now. She'll still have trouble against Hinoka. Can't win this. Shouldn't last too long, although I should watch the base soon. Yep, we've got Sakura messing around here. That's no good for us. What is it? Okay. You go back on the defense. Of course. Corin is doing what she's supposed to do. Now we'll have to go with Elise and see what happened. What's happening over here? Now we gotta heal that fourth captain, that's pretty important. And now let's move back to Corrin and deal with these. This battle ends with you. It gets even more ridiculous in other Shadow Generation maps with monks and rally captains showing up all over the place. Really sad to be honest. Can't win this. There we go. How did it fall? But that base over there, that Sakura is gonna be trouble. This fort is ours. Fort is ours. What do you need? Okay, let's go deal with that. What do you need? Okay. With that many fort, we might be nearly ready to deal with Ryoma. Although we could probably slay him right up to now. So might as well finish the map. Mission complete. There she is. Goodness, 
me? I knew I could count on your astonishing strength. There we go. As I said, really unfortunate running pose. <laughs> we take this point, nothing can stop us. But oh well. I didn't notice that the ladies far outnumbered the men in this game right now, especially with the latest DLC. And that won't necessarily be solved by the next Awakening DLC, which is the next one we're running on. Alright, that is done, let's just finish him. You can see if you hadn't trained Elise or Lee or something, Ryoma would be really difficult to defeat. You would have to use Xander or, heck, even Corrin to actually take him down. So that would be pretty darn difficult. If you should dare challenge Nor. Well, that is done. We didn't do too badly. Well I'm surprised we actually had that many enemies defeated. Must have been a bunch swarming our base. Is the highest honor. Got a number of weapons. Though that is neat. Oh, and I got a few helmets. Is that enough to upgrade a Boro? I don't think so. Anyhow, we've got time for another map, so I'm thinking we might actually go to some of those new maps and actually give some other characters a spin. What I need to know, however, is what level Niles is. Level 34. No, I don't want an arena. There's got to be a higher gold rush over here. No, I don't want the time to deck. This one's a little high. This one should do. <laughs> okay. Swap people around a bit. What we're gonna use right now is Hannah Best of luck. I'm up. and Niles. Very well. I should do a lot better than Hannah. Hannah isn't really equipped properly, and I haven't really upgraded her what to speak do? of. What'll it be? Does she have anything that she could actually use? Nope, didn't upgrade it. Well, we'll have to make do with what I got. Anyway, there's not a whole lot to show, because archers what are mostly clones of one another, so what it doesn't I really matter. Let's do this! Really, there isn't that much difference between characters like Takumi, Niles, or Anna. A few difference in stats, but really nothing to write home about. really have the same moveset. At some point I thought that the ones from Kakumi and Sakura might have been a little different, but they really weren't. Whichever archer you pick is gonna do the job. The only real thing to worry about is whether you want a topsy-turvy character, which means a character with a high magical stat, or another character entirely. Ooh, he's got dragon to it. So yep, there we go. Anna uses grenades. <laughs> Mission complete. Oh well. I see enemy reinforcements. Let's go into awakening. Guaranteed. The archers are deceptively simple to use. Although because of those little gauge under the character that I spoke of, like this, she can actually charge it for the stun. 
That is why I sometimes I was wondering why the arrows didn't stun people on Sakura. Fortunately, with this being a timed attack, well, we won't really see much of those. Which is unfortunate, because archers are really good at timed attack. And that's it for our weakening skills. She pretty much summons our sister and use a ballista. Here we've got Niles with his... Uh, with his upgraded outfit. Really all characters I have uh, all had uh, Master Seal equipped to them, so... Not much of a problem. Kind of an interesting move there on Niles part. I kind of forgot what it looked like, or maybe I never actually tested it. Yeah, it's a different from probably because it was uh, a dual warrior art. I'm leaving. Okay, let's go in awakening mode. Tell me, what does it feel like to die? <laughs> no, stop being creepy, guys. Whoops! Didn't defeat him. That's no good for us. Doesn't matter that much, but still. In case I hadn't man mentioned, uh, Niles is actually part of the uh, Fire Emblem Fates DLC that got added on the 21st of September, as I mentioned before. It includes the characters of Azura, Oboro, and Niles, as well as a number of things that got added to the update, such as it is. They include three history maps for each of the various characters as well. We can see those uh, other maps that we saw, like uh, Grief, uh, Land of Cold Ice, and so on. Well. Those were the ones. Here's a taste. And damn. That's it for his awakening skills. It's not too bad, but he's not that great either. Kind of feel like the fact that having two archers is kind of redundant. I think a physical attacking one would be neat, but other than that, meh. What? Over already? So long as you have Sakura's Topsy Turvy, there's really isn't much point of using him at all. What does it sound like when you of course, they all have the Wing Slayer by default, which is really helpful against Pegasus Knights and so on. Too strong. A little rusty, it's been a while since I played this. Over already? Only because I've been sick a little lately, so meh. <laughs> I've taken care of their commander. Niles, will you help me? How could I rebuke your desire? Let's work together. Those archers are really good at dealing with crowds, which make them a natural fit for those types of missions. They added a variation to this, which is the Gold Rush mission, which basically involves you actually hunting down what are gold transporters for maximum damage. Although, despite that, it's actually a carbon copy of that one. It just involves maybe one additional quest to actually rescue villagers. So, you know. Here's a taste. I feel 
feel like teasing. I see enemy reinforcements. Hmm. <laughs> pretty fast for the most part, although I suppose most archers are. Sakura's a little faster on account of her having Astra, but still. Too strong. So our Marm and Will are pretty much mandatory for just about any character, which is a little sad, to be honest. We kinda hope for more variety among skills. If one skill is a little too powerful, well. You know, support your character, you're almost about to run out of slots for uh, a rank support for Kriyoma. Which kind of limits your possibilities after that. Still, I suppose there are enough characters to actually cover the entire roster. Is that it? I was really hoping for more from you. yourself <laughs> that is done not well easiest rank I'm really tired my back will hurt tomorrow full of useful little things not a lot that I can use unfortunately oh well I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being thank you for watching everyone if you like what you're seeing please subscribe please leave a comment below and that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.